It is yet another beautiful day here in the Adirondack High Peaks. And welcome to episode number two of the Winter 46 series, Cascade and Porter. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Street and I. It was really interesting kind of putting that together. And as I put more content out, hopefully the content will get better. And I appreciate any feedback or input that you guys have. But today we're actually gonna be packing a little lighter. I only have a day pack on uh, with all the layers I need, a few extra things. I got my insulated water bladder hose, a little bit of food, snowshoes on, of course. We just got a fresh dumping of snow and I'm ready to see what the summit looks like and uh, I hope you guys are ready to come along with the journey. Cascade and Porter are also the two shortest high peaks to travel to in distance by foot. Just a Cascade is 2.4 miles, and it's an extra 1.4 with Porter, making it a total of 3.8 miles. Cascade stands 4,097 feet, and Porter just a little shorter than that. Even though it barely meets the 4,000 foot height for a high peak, it still has one of the most beautiful summits. It's the shortest peak that has 360 degree views and offers some of the best sunrises and sunsets. From the shoot and I video, again today we have Kira. Hello. So we got a large ice storm a couple days ago. As you can tell here, it's like a half inch of ice, but that's Mother Nature's way of making popsicle sticks. Wow, that was windy. Now the sun, there wasn't really a sunset, but um, that was inclement. That, those winds had to be like 60, like that was, that was absolutely insane. That was crazy. Whew. The wind chill was probably like right around maybe zero to minus 10. Uh, ambient temperature right now is about 25 degrees um, with that wind chill, definitely dropped it down there. But we're gonna go hit up Porter now. And unfortunately, we're gonna be doing that in the dark. This is kind of deja vu. 
Reason being, because the first time I did Cascade was three years ago this week. And it was like the same thing, went up for the sunset to do Cascade and Porter, and then the sunset ended up sucking, uh, and it was super windy. It's like the, the exact same thing, and now I'm coming back here again to do Porter again in the dark again. So, still haven't been on Porter in the wintertime in the day, but uh, we'll make the most of it. Oh yeah! So getting something. Now this, that's not what we actually see. This is what we're seeing right now. Alright, we are now going to head to the summit. Let's go back to the car. Cascade and Porter, three and four, done. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'd like to again thank the sponsors of this series, High Peak Cyclery, here in Lake Placid, as well as Wyatt's Tex-Mex, amazing burritos. In fact, again, I'm gonna to go to Wyatt's right now and get another burrito. But again, if you guys come to Lake Placid, make sure you guys go check those places out. Amazing outdoor equipment and high peak cyclery. And that's also where I work, if you want to come in and say hi sometime. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and look forward to the next episode.